Hey guys, it's Amy Edsoy back and we are doing another daily reading vlog for August. What is today? The 8th? Is that right? Yeah, I think it's the 8th. Anyway, um, I just finished uh, Sexiest Vampire Alive on my commute in because again, as I said, I started a little bit earlier yesterday. But, oh, so good at the end. Um, the final resolution. And it opens up the world to more bad guys um, that we, I mean, we'd heard about in other books, but like now that's the main focus, I think. I think for the last, because I think there's four more, four, five more novels. Anyway, point is, is that it's just a fun ride and the romance is good. So overall, this was one of the good ones. I really enjoyed this book and I, I like that Grigori finally got his story and, uh, and I like the main um, female MC overall. So, okay, I need to go to work. I'm technically, I mean, I'm early. I'm always early. Like, I'm a half hour early. But, you know, I like to get here early because that's when I do my overtime. Anyway, so um, I'm going to go up to my office. Um, it's still, the temperatures look like they're going to be in the mid-90s. So we'll see how it goes today. Um Hopefully it'll go by quickly. Um, other than that, there's nothing much um, happening. Um, so anyway, I need to go to work. Anyway, so I will check in with you later. We'll see. Um, as I said, now I can listen to any audiobook. So um, I'll see what I feel like. I don't know yet because I'm still thinking about the book that I just finished. So um, yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'll check in when, probably when I get home. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Amy. Um, it's now 5.30. Yeah, about 5.30, almost there. I, I've been home for about a half hour. I had to take out the recycling and uh, the garbage and put the cans out and all that stuff. It was not, it's fun. Not when it's like 95 degrees out. I'm not happy. Anyway, so um, today was one of those weird days at work where I you know, I, I did work. It's not like I, I, I'm not working, but I could listen to audiobooks the whole day because I was in my office with the air, air conditioner <laughs> running and there was like nobody in the shop. There was only me and one other guy. Everybody else was out on other jobs or on different shifts for a project that's going on. So it's really boring when half the crew isn't, you know, over half the crew isn't there. <laughs> and I'm like, it was so boring today. So I spent most of my time at the computer doing my my work and then listening to audiobooks when I could. So I, I kind of got quite a bit done, or I, I made some progress on certain things. So, um, as I said, I finished Sexiest Vampire Alive. I told you about that. So I wasn't sure what I was going to pick up, but I do have the audiobook for Dark Succession by Katie Robert out from the, on Libby. And this is a book that I had gotten about 125 pages in. I think it was in May. I don't remember. It was May or June. I'm pretty sure it wasn't June. I don't know. There was one month, April, May, one of those. And um, I tried it and I just wasn't in the mood for a mafia romance. So I'm not normally in the mood for a mafia romance, but I like Katie Robert quite a bit. So I, I, you know, I bought all the books. I think all but one. I think the last, the sixth book in the series, uh, this is the O'Malley series, I think, I believe. Um, I think the sixth one comes out this month or next month. So um, I'll have them all, but I haven't started the series. So I tried to start this back in April or May, and I didn't get very far because other things distracted me. And um, this is following Callie and Teague, who are um, like the children of the two mafia groups who... Um, because something happened to the third mafia group in the Boston area, um, somebody got killed. So now they're all kind of up in an uproar. Everybody is trying to uh, make different um, alliances and stuff before war breaks out between, you know, between all the mafia goons. Anyway, <laughs> so we're we're like looking at the they're all the older generation is the ones in charge but it's all the kids who are the ones who are were following them you know in their early their 20s and they're the ones who are kind of you know pulled into this against their will because they were born into the families anyway so this these this is kind of a uh an arranged marriage uh between the two families and uh Callie was supposed to marry the one from the third one and 
he got killed so this then her father sets it up with the other family for her to marry Teague instead so they are just getting to know each other and you know because the, they they've known about each other but they don't know each other I don't think anyway um it's been a while since I read the first part but anyway so um um <laughs> I have about two and a half hours left on the audiobook when I stopped it I again I don't remember why I stopped it or maybe my return my my hold returned I don't remember but anyway I got it back a couple days ago so I'm like okay I have two and a half hours I don't feel like just reading this today so I just listened to a half hour so I'm going to try to just do a half hour here and there to get it done and then I can return the audiobook for other people it's about all I can handle of mafia uh stuff because like in this in the part I read you know somebody got beat up pretty bad for just being in the wrong area and and then somebody else got beat up because they beat that guy up. It was just kind of, kind of ridiculous. Anyway, so um, we're gonna see how this goes. Um, as I said, I don't think it's gonna be a favorite in any way, you know. But I, you know, I'm hoping the series will just be fun. I'll read it every once in a while to get through it. But again, I'm just trying to get through book one right now. So as I said, I read about uh, did I say 35 pages? Yeah, I would say about 35 pages. Um, today so we did that and then I picked up my other women in translation pick for this month which but um I'm not doing very good I mean the Tsubasa is definitely a win for the manga of rereading that series but my fiction picks have not been very good so I might have to find something else because I got 25 percent of the way through there's no such thing as an easy job by key uh, Kuruko Sumora, Sumoro, sorry, Sumoro, which is translated by Polly Barton, I believe. Where's my, yeah, from the Japanese. So this is one of those books a couple of years ago, a lot of people read or talked about, and I bought it because I really do, of literature, like stuff that's like just contemporary straight literature, you know, or contemporary stuff. You know, I like Japanese um, translations more than I like reading just, I don't know, about the American experience. I usually like to read about other countries more than I do about our, you know, for contemporary stuff. But this was really boring. There is a kind of weird surreal element to it, which is why I thought I would like this. This is following, um, what is, oh, I don't even know what her name is. Do we even, do I even know her name in the beginning? I don't remember, but she um is burnt out from her office job and so she was unemployed for a little bit and then she decides to go to the employment agency and she gets these jobs that last about like a month before they decide if they can if they want to go on permanent or if she wants to find another job so i only l listened to the first job which was a surveillance job where she sat there for hours every day watching on two monitors this guy like two different days and it was like a writer or something and she's watching him because he has some contraband band somebody left um at his house and he doesn't know about it but they're watching him and it's it was kind of this weird thing about them seeing the differences and and how she's influenced by what he does and what he buys and things like that it was a weird first section and then it started the second section which was called the bus something bus advertisements bus yeah bus advertising job so I got mo I got two quarters of the way through the two sorry two thirds of the way through that one and then I just got bored I just it was just it really was monotonous and I know that that's what the point of the jobs were they were all monotonous jobs and kind of um not they just weren't interesting to me the surveillance one was weird, and again, I had read part of that because I read this physically either last year or the year before, trying it um, during Women in Translation, and I didn't get very far physically reading this. Audiobook-wise, I said I got 100 pages, and then I'm like, I'm done. I just don't care, and I don't. I don't. I, I can see maybe why it could be interesting to other people, but to me, it wasn't interesting at all. I just got bored. So, anyway, I DNF'd that book. So I will, 
probably this weekend go through my translated books and try to find something else to read for women in translation because I feel kind of bad because I DNF both of my picks that were physical or that were physical that were um fiction picks you know so I don't know we'll, we'll see anyways <laughs> oh well so that didn't work out for me so then I returned to the witch word crown I'm doing a reread of The Last King of Osnard because the last book is coming out in November. So I am doing, I need to read this book and then book two, Empire Grass, and then a novella. And then I have not, I've never read Into the Narrow Dark, which I want to do before The Navigator's Children comes out in November. Anyway, so I did, I did quite a bit today. I did about 180 pages by the time I got home, you know, driving home. Um, so I, um, again, this is, this one is, um, audio is, uh, narrated by, um, Andrew Wincott and he does a really good job of this whole series. Um, and again, this is, uh, following the Memory Siren Thorn trilogy. So don't start here. I mean, you could, but you would be completely have no idea what's going on. I would never suggest that to anybody. Always start with a dragon bone chair. Anyway, and, um. Anyway, so this is, again, I don't love the Last King of Osternard series as much as Memory, Sorrow, and Thorn, but I still want to read it all and um, be ready for the last book when it comes out. So I got to two, or five, 539 pages. So I, yeah, I said about 180 so I did pretty good. So I have 150, about 150 pages left of the book. So we'll see how it goes tomorrow. My goal was to finish tomorrow. That was my weekly goal of trying to get through this. And I didn't touch it at all yesterday. <laughs> so, you know, I wasn't sure I was going to make that. But I mean, and I think if I make this my focus tomorrow, then maybe I can um, finish it. I feel like I got something on my book. I don't know. It's a little sticky. I might have to, maybe just because it's hot. Anyway, point is, is that anyway, really enjoying that, even though, um, again, I love Dragon Bone Chair and, you know, Stone of Farewell and Two Green Angel Tower. Those are just epic for me in this. So this is fine. It's just, I love it because it's the same characters, just they're older by like over 30 years. And then we have a lot of new characters. And um, now I'm far enough into this book that, you know, I've gotten to know quite a few of the new characters and really enjoying that. Um, so anyway, I, I'm glad I got that much done today. That was, I didn't expect to, uh, well, have that not be by myself so much in my office with the AC running. But anyway, well, I was. Um, so now, um, tonight, I plan to conquer <laughs> Zubasa. Reservoir Chronicle by Clamp. So I am, uh, let's see here. I'm just over halfway through volume 24. That's how I got how far I got before I went to bed last night. So we are working on this. This is a portal fantasy manga with four people who start out traveling together due to various reasons to world hop to try to find these uh, feathers that are memories of one of the characters. And so it is this just the twists and turns in here. As I said, I read this over 10 years ago, so I didn't remember most of it. So every time I read something, I'm like, oh, I forgot about that. Or it's, it shocks me because I'm like, oh, I forgot about that. Anyway, so I have only a uh, little over four volumes of, so I still have 24 to do, finish that off. And then I have, um, Four more volumes and 28 is a little bigger than the rest because it's the last one so they just put the last part into it so I do want to finish out the series tonight if I can that is my goal and then who knows um there is um a second there, uh, there's a few other books that are connected to this one and xx xholic as well as legal drug that are were like revamps and so I'm going to read those two, but I might wait a little bit. Maybe, I mean, maybe I'll only wait as long as the weekend, but there's three volumes, I think, of each. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, 
my goal is to finish Subasa, um, the main series, uh, tonight if I possibly can. So that's it for now. I will, uh, it was a lot of different things. And, uh, you know, I finished one thing, I made progress in a couple, and I DNF'd one. Anyway, that's fine. We'll see how the, how it goes from here on. So, anyway, I will check in with you guys later. Hey guys, so it is now about 9.05. I just finished Subasa. I am so excited that I got through this whole series during this week. Um, I mean, it did take me six days, but <laughs> whatever. I, you know, again, I read other things too. I just, I am so glad I reread this series. Um, it's just been such a fun, uh, fun time. So again, I did read volume 24, volume 25, oops, volume 26. That's Truman jumping down from the top of the bookcase. Volume 27. And then the Chunker, <laughs> Volume 28. So this one, um, like XXX Hall, it kind of ends in a way that um, maybe not what you expect, but I really like the ending. There's a lot in here that I didn't remember at all, <laughs> again. So this was a great experience. Um, I, really, I, I really don't think I've read this again since it came, all came out. Um, I, again, I was reading them as a... As a were, you know, because I pre-ordered, like, almost all these, I think. I just, uh, and then, um, I think when I got to the end, I reread them all then, and that was the last time I, I read, um, these books, which I guess I could check to see when the last one came out, which was 2010 in English, not, a ja Japan was the year before that. Anyway, so that kind of makes sense that I don't remember a whole lot because it's now, if we think, if I probably read it in that year or the year after at the most, then I read, you know, it's been a long time. Anyway, so I, I finished. Yay! Anyway, so, um, I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. So, again, today I finished Sexiest Vampire Alive. I DNF'd. There's no such thing as an easy job. I read... Well, I finished five volumes of Subasa. I made progress in Dark Succession and The Witchwood Crown. So I think I did okay today. It was a, it was a good reading day. So not sure what will happen tomorrow. It's Friday, so you never know how work is going to be on Friday. Again, my goal um, will be to focus on The Witchwood Crown. I would really like to finish this since I only have 150 pages left. So we're going to try to get that done because I, I want to give it a few weeks after that before I start Empire Grass. I don't want to start that right away. So I want to at least have a couple of weeks in between. Oh, I'm getting tired. Sorry. I want to yawn. Anyway, um, that's it. So, um, anyway, I'm just going to close it out here. The cats were here and gone. Like nothing, there's nothing cute to film. They were kind of boring tonight. <laughs> I think it's the heat. I think we were all just like melting and didn't, and didn't want to move. So anyway, right now they've all left me because I started talking and you know, I disturbed their sleep. Anyway, <laughs> so anyway, I will uh, check in with you guys tomorrow. Bye.